Hi, I'm Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today I'm going to show you how to create a countdown timer using Canva for your Restream Studio live broadcast. Let's go. Okay, here in Canva, we're going to go to Create a Design, Presentation. And for this countdown timer, we're going to start with a black background. So let's click on our slide and select black. Now we're going to go to videos and we're going to find a countdown timer. I've already done this and the rabbit hole can be deep, but here's what you need to do in Canva. Look for a timer that is the length you need or longer, because I'm going to show you some ways to edit the timer down to what you need it for. So I found a timer here that was one minute. I'm going to click that. And what I'm going to do for this presentation is I'm going to make the timer 20 seconds instead of a minute. So I'm going to click here on the scissors and I'm going to drag down to 20 seconds. Now click done. Okay. Now for the purposes of this design, I also don't need these first two digits and the colon. So I'm going to cover those, but first let me enlarge my timer and center those four digits I really want roughly in the middle of the screen. Now I'm going to go over here to elements, pick a basic square and cover up the digits I don't want and color that box black. So in our design, it's going to be double zero and then count down from 20 and that's roughly centered. The next thing I want to do is go to text and we're going to add some text about the broadcast. Let's bring that up and center it and make this a good, strong font. Make it bold and larger. That looks about right. Now as another little add on here, you can add your icon or something like that if you like. So I'm going to go over here to my folders and bring in my logo. Let's reduce the size of that and center it at the bottom. We can adjust these and make them fit a little better. Now let's jazz this up a bit because right now we just have a white timer on a black background, but we can do better than that, right? Let's go over here to videos and I'm going to pull in a loopable video that I also found here on Canva. Now, as you see here, this loopable video is 29 seconds, whereas our timer, if you noticed, was 19.7 seconds. Now, the way that videos work on Canva, when you export them, whatever portion or even animations, whatever portion has the longest timer is going to be the timer of what you download. So now we need to make this video fit the time of the timer. So now we're going to click on the scissors for that and type in 19.7. So now we're going to go here and enlarge our video. And we're going to change the transparency of the video. And that's why I like using white text on a black background. You can knock down the transparency and it pops through the video fairly nicely. Now we need to take our text and push it back behind the video. Now, if you want a silent timer, you're done, but we're going to kick this up another notch. We're going to add some background music. So let's go over here to audio. And we're going to pick any audio file that we like. Let's pick this one. And as you see here, it automatically adjusts the audio to fit the length of your video. So you don't even have to crop your audio. It crops it for you. But here's another cool thing. You can grab that segment that you like and move it. And you still have the length that you need for your video. So now we are actually done. So we just have to export it now, bring it into Restream Studio, and we have a custom timer of our own. So let's go to download. MP4 video is awesome. And as you see here, it gives you the warning to add your social media accounts so you don't get pinged for using copyrighted music. So you want to make sure you do that also. Download. Okay, so let's jump into Restream Studio and see how it works. Okay, now we're in Restream Studio in our graphics tab, as always, and I'm going to show you how to add this countdown timer we just made. We're going to scroll down to our video clips section, click the plus. Okay, so here's our countdown timer. Just going to double click it to add it. So now that our timer is ready, 
Let's load it and see how it looks. So that's it for today, y'all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.